and you listen to Trump talk about the economy booming and it's it's on an upward thing and <clears throat> unemployment is down and how jobs are up. Yeah, I mean, bullshit. That's, yeah, that's what's really bothering me about Trump is the hypocrisy because when Trump was a candidate and he got elected because by and large he told the truth about the phony nature of the recovery. Obama was out there talking about how great things were, and Trump was like, BS, it's not great. Don't believe those phony numbers when you hear 4.9 and 5% unemployment. The number's probably 28, 29, as high as 35. In fact, I even heard recently 42%. 5.3% unemployment. That is the biggest joke there is. It is such a phony number. The unemployment number, as you know, is totally fiction. And our real unemployment is anywhere from 18 to 20 percent. Don't believe the 5.6. Don't believe it. Oh, you're talking about low unemployment? That m number is bogus. The real unemployment rate is 20 percent or 25 right, percent. Because people would, stop looking for jobs yeah, and it doesn't count anymore. Yeah, people are, you know, they gave up looking so they don't have a job. They're not counted as being unemployed. People don't have jobs. They don't have the but jobs they want. But it's 4.9 percent unemployment. Time, it's, it's a phony number, Bill. The number is 25 percent and probably higher than that. People are looking for jobs. They can't find them. They keep looking. They give up. And now they're statistically employed. Like here, this is irony, right? So one of the byproducts of Obamacare, Obamacare said that if you have a full time worker, you have to give him health insurance. Right. And full time was anyone that worked 30 hours or more. Well, employers aren't dumb. They can do math. Hey, if I if this guy is working uh, 40 hours a week, I got to I got to give him health insurance, which is very expensive. But if he works 29 hours a week, I don't. Right. So what happened? Employers started transitioning their workforces from full-time workers to part-time workers. Well, what happens if I'm gonna have only part-time workers? I'm gonna have more workers, right? Because each one is working fewer hours. So I'm gonna have to have more, I'm, I have more jobs, right? If I have 500 full-time employees, but now I have 1,000 part-time employees, that's twice as many jobs. Obama got credit for all those extra jobs, right? As we were, as we were destroying full-time jobs and replacing them with two part-time jobs, we got all these jobs. So Trump was honest as a candidate. These are low paying jobs. These are crappy jobs. The jobs are bad jobs. They're really low level jobs and bad jobs. You have so many part time jobs and companies are taking people that have been with them for 20 years and more. And they're saying, I'm sorry. I love you. You're great. I have to make you part time. We have the lowest labor force participation rates in four decades. 58% of the African-American youth are either outside of the labor force or not employed. One in five American households do not have a single member in the labor force, not a single member of a household. These are the real unemployment numbers. The 5% figure is one of the biggest hoaxes in American modern politics. You know, and a lot of the people that were getting jobs were older people who don't want jobs. They were retired, and now they're working at McDonald's part-time because they can't live on their retirement money. And in fact, you know, when you look at the labor force participation rate that he would talk about, you know, where labor force participation is collapsing is with young people. People in their 20s and 30s can't get jobs. Meanwhile, 70 and 80 year olds are working in record percentages, right? Because they can't afford to retire and their grandkids can't get a job. But so Trump was telling the truth about how bad the economy really was. And that resonated. A lot of blue collar guys, a lot of uh, Democrats in the Midwest voted for Trump because he got it. He understood, their, he felt their pain, right? Like Bill Clinton. And Obama was in a fantasy. I mean, Hillary was pretending that everything was great under Obama. And people didn't want four more years of that, so they voted for Trump. And also, you know, when Trump was a candidate, he talked about the stock market. Because, oh, the stock market was going up when Obama was president. And Trump said, well, it's a bubble. Who cares about the stock market? This is a big, fat, ugly bubble. Wait till it pops. Believe me, we're in a bubble. We have artificially low interest rates. We have a stock market that, frankly, has been good to me, but I still hate to see what's happening. We have a stock market that is so bloated. Be careful of a bubble. The economy is doing terribly. Look at even now the stock market. Finally, that was the one part of the economy, and finally that's crashing. 
We have the worst revival of an economy since the Great Depression. And believe me, we're in a bubble right now. And the only thing that looks good is the stock market. But if you raise interest rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. We are in a big, fat, ugly bubble. He was right about that. Now he's president. What is he saying? Every time I see him, the stock market's a new record high. This is fantastic. You know, it's all because of me. This is great. The stock market reached yet another all time in history, all time high today. We're doing tremendously well. Our stock market just hit an all time high. The stock market hit an all time record high today, over 22,000. Uh, we've picked up substantially now more than $4 trillion in net worth in terms of our country, our stocks, our companies. The economy is starting to come back and very, very rapidly. We've added $3.3 trillion in stock market value to our economy and more than a million private sector jobs. And when the jobs numbers come out, oh, this is, look how low the unemployment rate is. This is the lowest it's been in 15 years. I'm doing a great job. We have, I think, 16 years. In 16 years, it's the lowest unemployment rate. Unemployment is at a 16-year low. We have already created over 1 million jobs since I took office. The stock market is at record highs. Unemployment is at a 16-year low. We have a growth rate, a GDP, which has been much higher than, as you know, anybody anticipated. It's going to go higher, too. We have made incredible progress. I don't think there's ever been a president elected who, in this short period of time, has done what we've done. Nothing has changed. This is the exact same economy he inherited. It's the same crappy jobs. It's the same stock market bubble. The only difference is he's not a candidate anymore. He's the president. And now he's trying to market the same crappy economy that Obama had and pretending everything is good. And I wish he, was, he would stay true to the candidate and admit, you know what? The economy is still a disaster because nothing has changed, right? He was going to drain the swamp. Instead, he just poured more water in the same swamp. In the past, the president has referred to particular job reports as phony or totally fiction. Does the president believe that this jobs report was accurate and a fair way, way to measure the economy? Yeah, I, I talked to the president prior to this, uh, and he said to quote him very clearly, they may have been phony in the past, but it's very real now. <laughs>